feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright we have made it to the Lake District. We're having a picnic right now. We've got our fish and chips with the whole family. Tell me what you have. What gravy you have? Fish, some. chips, and gravy. Mm -mm -mm. So I've got, um, I've got, I've got, got curry sauce, sauce and gravy. Oh. Didn't know what to go for. <laughs> I love how you couldn't decide what to get, so you just went for both. Yeah, you've got to have both. Is this the lake? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pond, Mum. Yeah, it's a pond. <laughs> What is it? What fish is it? Cod. Yeah. Well, fish and chips is usually cod. Am I the only one who doesn't actually like the batter? Yes, the oh, batter is the, the best bit. No, it's the worst bit. What? what? It's, it's the best bit. It's but I love it. Yeah, it's just so... I don't like chewy stuff like that. Kim loves anything crunchy, oh, like ice. Okay, Kim, couple of house ground rules. I'm really scared. Don't actually, let them bite you. What if they all jump on me? Oh, seagulls like chips. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. Should we it? No, that one's scary. Feed them. Feed them, Kim. I'm scared because this one's angry. Like, he's gonna. Look, he's waiting. I don't want to give it to him. He's he got it anyway. <laughs> Oh, look at this pretty one! Oh, shit! Oh. <laughs> Fuck, they're really quick. They're quick. Look at that white one, right? The seagulls are easy. Yeah, the seagulls are rude. Kim, you look like you know the woman on home. <laughs> you know the woman on Home Alone? You know the woman on Home Alone, too? Yeah. Where she's got the, uh, the things all around her. Uh, don't get bit. <laughs> They're getting fairly close. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh, that one's brave! Oh my god! <laughs> Ice cream, what okay, are you going for? Get, I'm going to guess everyone's flavours. Trom's 100% going to get vanilla. That's so rude. Is Cameron's 100% going to get something with chocolate. <laughs> Joanne's 100% going to get something. Mm, let me think. Vegetarian. <laughs> She's getting light. Nah, I reckon mint. No, no, no. Lychee. She's the lychee kind of girl. Lychee, right? Peach, uh, peach. You basically you just guess them. No. Pistachio, yeah. pistachio. Everything. Yeah. All 36 flavors. Yeah. Obviously, oh, they're all wearing pink. Really they're, really they're, they think they're triplets. They're just going to get the same. <laughs> what are you getting? I'm getting a. There's 36 flavors. So it's like, what are 36 kind of flavors? You would try and get 36 if you could. Three. You're gonna get hazelnut. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm so good at Yeah, it took you 15 guesses. I'm gonna get two scoops. And it's not gonna be vanilla, Kim. It's gonna be chocolate and vanilla. Chocolate? Yeah. Yes, he's so casual. It's like, you know, you know, you know. I am stood here. So there's two of Tom's basic flavors vanilla and chocolate. Um, I'm actually getting the damson ripple and the coffee. You're actually getting the what? Damson ripple and coffee. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, this bubble gum and raisin flour is really tasty. It's actually the two rare flavors. <laughs> bubble gum itself. and raisin. Bubble gum's blue. That's 100% vanilla and chocolate. <laughs> so, we're back home now and I'm making a seafood boil. But my most favorite that I've been wanting for a very long time is a dobong pussy. What's that? Look. Oh, squid the double. Yeah. Oh, you know, genuinely, you never told me we were having that. Yeah, squid the double, and then we have um, <laughs> we have seafood boiled prawns with potatoes and sweet corn and mussels. Oh my god. Yeah, we are going all out. I feel today. like I'm back in the Philippines. Well, we have all the titas here, and when show all the titas, show, show me what the titas are up to. Guys, do you want to see what the titas are up to? Yeah. Look. Hi. <laughs> I was just playing a second ago, okay. but because I lost, I had to do the cooking. <laughs> it's fine, I kind of know how to make the sauce, so me and mum are in the kitchen. 
So me and Mum are in the kitchen making the food while they play, but then I'll be joining them later. And see, <laughs> look oh, yeah, at the future. The future. the future's like hidden and stretched now. <laughs> save the. This future. is my like relaxing clothes, and it's definitely becoming like tired. Like it used to be so this baggy, baggy on you. Oh yeah. my gosh, how baggy was this t-shirt? This, this top. This t-shirt was like down here, baggy. <laughs> But yeah. What's going in the in in that in the? Oh, I'm gonna, this is where I'm gonna make the um, seafood boil sauce. Oh wow! So I've just finished making a whole seafood boil for the family, guys. Mm. Look at how good that looks. We've been out at the lake, so we've literally got back about two hours ago. Um, we've got a double per set, my favourite and seafood boil. We've got prawns, mussels, sweet corn, potatoes. So we're literally gonna have a feast and probably have like a movie night today so it's going to be like a real chilled one hey keto family welcome back to a brand new video i realized i didn't even do an intro at the beginning of this video so just to kind of explain um i've had family uh come and visit from london and it was and it's been so so nice to have family here um we went on like a road trip and yeah we've been catching up which is why i've missed sunday's upload so i do apologize because we've been super busy um and on top of that tom was packing for his trip his um work trip and he's been gone now for two days and he'll be back tomorrow so um yeah there was just like so much going on and obviously we wanted to have quality time with the family uh but now they're gone uh but my cousin has decided to stay with me which is really nice so i've got company here um and yeah we're just having like a really some girly time it's been like the longest time since i've really had some me time um especially with like quarantine lockdown i've not been able to get any treatments done um so today or this morning uh we went to the hair salon i actually got a haircut i don't know if you guys can notice not big difference really small trim just to kind of get rid of like the dead hair had no idea by the way that my hair actually looked like this how dry are the ends of that hair like the last time i had my hair cut was when i went to the philippines i'm going to continue my me time today and get my nails done so many people have been saying to me like make sure you get pampered you know get some treatments done before baby arrives you know just to kind of like feel good so today is the day but anyways i know you guys are probably wondering um about the title of today's video so um recently i just wanted to do like a quick pregnancy update recently i've been feeling like so heavy like i know i've been going on for the last few weeks about like the pain in like my pelvic bone but honestly baby is getting heavier and heavier so i was speaking to my hairdresser and she's just had her first her first baby boy nine months ago and he was two weeks early and i was like oh my goodness and she said yeah if you want like your baby to come early like just walk like walk every single day and i'm not going to lie i've been walking every single day before she even said this like every day we've been out just because i want to like be out of the house and like for exercise and for my mental well-being because i know i'll be stuck in the house when baby's here for at least like a few weeks um yeah i've been getting out walking at least two to three hours or even more a day um so i've definitely been doing a lot more walking but before she even said that like i've been saying to tom like i really feel like he's going to come early just because of like the way i've been feeling um and just like with his movements and stuff i've been like He's going to be an early baby. I mean, I could be totally wrong. We've just made it to the shopping mall to get our nails done. We've literally got about two minutes to our appointment. So Joanne's going first. Okay guys, so I've just finished getting my nails done. I want to show you. So I've gone for like a nude, um, a nude color. I don't know if you can see, but it's like a color that I always get, really simple. Um, but another thing, they had very limited colors 
in the nail shop there wasn't much choice because of like covid i'm guessing like they just want to like limit all their colors but yeah i've gone for a real nude color what do you guys think really simple um right now i'm just waiting for joanne to finish getting her nails done i'm just waiting for joanne there she is just got home and i am so tired i can't even tell you each day is like getting so much harder like more tiring i feel like because the last few days i've been out constantly um yeah it's just like causing pressure down here like i couldn't even get my foot into the car and then when i parked up outside the house i couldn't even get my feet like out again but anyways another successful day because i managed to get like two things ticked off my bucket list before baby gets here and that's like having a haircut and getting my nails done if you're a super busy mom or live like a super busy life just get nude because then when it grows out it's not as obvious so there's a trick okay i feel like i've been waffling on for the longest time honestly my brain is like i don't even know what i'm talking about anymore so i am going to close off today's video um but first of all today's shout out goes to jada nibs jada thank you so much for being part of the keto family and of course to every single one of you um honestly like we say this all the time like we do see and read your comments so and we appreciate every single one of you i am truly grateful and um massive massive thank you to everybody um who supports this channel it really does mean the world so during lockdown i've been with tom like every single day so it's so weird to close off this video without him it's really really strange i think this is like the first time i'm like closing off the video i'm gonna say again thank you so much um for being here and getting to the end of this video if you're new to the channel we always say at the end of every single video in a world where you can be anything remember to always be kind see you in our next video guys bye Mwah.